Okay, some of you were asking, um, how do you reverse the logic of the condition in running a loop? Um, so, in some of the examples given in the lecture slides or in the tutorial, the yes is actually at the no and the no is the yes. So, the logic is kind of reverse. You can either change your conditional statements here, or you can actually change the entire um, logic sequence of when a loop will be run or executed. So by default, or at least the later versions of the Raptor, will execute the loop only when the condition is not met, which is the no. So can we actually change this part? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video. So first and foremost, you're going to look for this application in Windows. Presumably you're using a Windows machine. Look for this application called Rack Edit, uh, in short for Registry Edit. Okay, so there are multiple folders here. Look for this folder under H key local machine, expand it, go under software, and look for a folder named Raptor. Most likely you don't have it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click on the software menu, create a new key. And this new key, I'm going to call it Raptor. Okay. So once the Raptor folder is created, I'm going to include a new key, right click again on the Raptor folder create a new string value and this new string value I'm going to call it reverse underscore loop underscore logic so once this key for the Raptor folder or application is created I'm going to double click on it to expose the edit string dialog box and I'm going to set the value data parameter to true. Okay, once this is done, I can restart Raptor. And when I create another loop, you will see that the logic of the loop has been reversed. So the loop will only be executed upon a yes condition now. 